So Formula Drift Long Beach <clears throat> has ended. It's wet, it's cold, we had a great time. Things didn't go quite as we had hoped, but it was still a great event. Definitely kicked off the beginning of the season, the beginning of the year. And uh, the next rounds will be out in Georgia. You can see the teams packing it up. It's always a lot to do. It's not just prepping the race car. And we'll be back down here next weekend for the actual form, uh, Formula Drift demo that's part of the Long Beach Grand Prix. So I think we're going to run the MX-5 as we have some work to do on the RX-8 since we had some power steering issues. And it looks like a couple of our partners, uh, Precision Turbo and Radium, have some new parts for us that just came out. So we'll actually be able to make some improvements to the RX-8 before we head out to Georgia. So that's kind of a nice thing to, uh, you know, we came out, we saw what was going on, the car ran great, engine-wise, transmission-wise, drivetrain-wise, great, um, but we had some handling issues, and in the end, we ended up losing basically the power steering, so the car was binding up on me in drift, and that caused me to uh, end up tagging the wall in my, my qualifying battle runs, because they have, the, they have changed the way Formula Drift works, and so in that battle that was qualifying, I ended up uh, catching the wall just enough to straighten out the car. But simultaneously, while I was battling with that wall contact, wall contact I was also battling with power steering issues. And uh, so as I had to do my second chase runs, I didn't want to just forfeit. I just kept it shallow. And as long as I didn't go too much angle, it didn't seem to overwork the power steering or the pump, whichever is failing. And I was able to, to get a, you know, a chase run in, in hopes that maybe uh, my competitor, uh, Rudy, would make a mistake. But uh, we didn't have that chance. We didn't have a chance to fix it. And so we kind of ended up uh, being beat out of the competition earlier than we had hoped. But uh, overall, I, like I said, the car feels good, and I know it's got a lot of potential. And uh, hopefully with the help of a couple of those partners... Uh, we're going to make some improvements. It'll be even better before we go to Road Atlanta in a couple weeks. And so that may mean we're back on the dyno, um, maybe changing turbos, changing wastegates. Uh, looks like we're definitely going to be making some changes as uh, there's some new products out. And uh, they're now available for our use, even though it's after the first round. We'll take those upgrades. And then, uh, like I said, bringing the MX-5 back down next weekend. I love that car. It's very unique. It's very different than the RX-8, even though they share the same suspensions. Um, so, just thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the KMR videos. It became a rainy event. You know, downtown Long Beach, really hard to drive in the rain. Uh, a lot of puddles, diverse concrete, asphalt transitions, white lines. This is all out on the track, so... You know, what we're walking across right here is also what the track is made of as we run down the back straightaway along those buildings and into turns one, two, three, four, and into the hairpin over there. Um, obviously blocked by the trailers. So, just wanted to give everybody kind of the, the little bit of update and recap on the event. Fantastic event. Always an honor and a pleasure to be part of the Formula Drift series and be able to bring the rotary cars out here. We're the only rotary car in the Formula Drift field, and that goes uh, with both the, uh, the Pro Spec field and the Pro One field, which we run in, which is the unlimited field. I don't want any limitations. I want to be able to run whatever I want on the motor and the transmission, so that's why we run unlimited, so we can prove that the rotaries can battle it out with any motor that's out there regardless of their size that's but why i have always loved time attack and loved formula drift it's because that's where we can run these amazing cars and amazing builds so again thank you thanks for watching thank you to all the partners everybody who made it happen the car's still in one piece just minor battle damage and the team is going to finish helping me put everything away. I should get back to work. But before we dropped it into the trailer, I wanted to give it the walk around. Give thanks. Give some updates on what we're going to be doing over the next week. 
I've also got some other videos to drop. Um, we're going to be talking about the, uh, the Mazda motors um, that were available. The new Mazda rotary motors now no longer available in the U.S. And then I've also got a motor build we did recently that uh, we're going to talk about for a customer project. So there's always a lot going on at the shop. You know, Mazda Tricks, big partner, get your parts from Mazda Tricks. KMR, that's where we're doing the service nowadays. I'm partnered with Mazda Tricks, work for them for like, I think close to 18 years. Now we just work together really closely because I'm always out racing, out traveling, and building motors when I'm in town. So, again, any questions, feel free to talk to us. Message KMR, check out the website. And uh, thanks for watching the YouTube videos. We're gonna continue to try to make these videos better, try to talk technical about our cars and our builds and our projects and continue to push the limits of the rotary engine. That's my goal. Push the limits, talk about it, and offer that to our customers. That is a wrap. I am out of here, gonna get the team going again. Thank you for watching.